Welcome to the channel, everyone. Destructive News Network news, no matter how destructive. And we have a story here. Crime has some women, small business owners in Chicago, planning on leaving. Please go ahead and hit that like on the video for me, please, right now. Drop your basketball emojis in the comment section and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Hit the bell if you haven't done that. And I ask you, women, business women who own small, medium, large businesses in the city of Chicago, why do you live in Chicago? And is that reason worth your life? Let's take a look at the report. Crime, safety, lack of police patrols. All are reasons some women who own small businesses in Chicago say they've had enough. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff found they're getting ready to move out. Good. We're basically like sitting ducks. That's how Sugar Bliss owners. <laughs> Absolutely. These people are sitting ducks. The police, they can't maintain the violence that's happening there. The mur what is the murder clearance rate in Chicago? Like 10%? If you are attacked, the odds that they find who did it are just extremely low. And if they do, they're typically a repeat offender who will be reduced in their charges and sent out on bail or due to uh, non-prosecution because of Kim Fox. Lisa Ging now feels about working in her loop shop. Stop Asian she hate. She says stress has replaced the joy of manning her storefront. Incidents like one that happened Friday, August 20. Ooh. Sixth are the reason. He came in the front door of our store, then came around to the cash register at 10:20 a.m. And then that. All right, so look at this video. When when he comes in all black, you know he ain't there to buy no macaroons. Give me a break. And 20 a.m. And then that man captured here on security video trashed part of her store and then tried grabbing a purse on the way out. All while Ging was having a woman in business networking meeting. This could have cost her her life. This move right there could have ended you. While Ging was having a whatever was in that purse was not worth your life business networking meeting just a few feet away. It happened very quickly, but I feel like this is I mean, it's sad to say it like I'm numb to this. You know what I mean? It happens once a month at least. Ging called wow. police. Officers police aren't going to do anything. Call the police for what? Showed up 40 minutes later. <laughs> then she fired off this email to make my name is true. Mayor Lori Light. Ooh, let's read. Let's see if we can read some of it. Today, Sugar Bliss. Ooh, Wabash entrance of the Palmer House Hilton Hotel resulted in damaged property and attempt to steal a purse in an assault on a customer. In the video, it, she sent her the video. Fired off this email to Mayor Lori Lightfoot, Alderman Brendan Riley, and others, but she's fed up. So is the owner of Chocolat Uzma in Pilsen. We can't live like this. The yeah, city has become. I won't even say. You guys are all liberals. You guys voted for this. This is the environment that you wanted. You wanted black lives to matter. Well, they matter now. They matter more than your yours. Congratulations. Say Gotham City is a little bit better because you had Batman. Here you don't have Batman. You know what I mean? After nine years in Pilsen, a 2021 burglary and a friend's recent carjacking Oof. just blocks away, Uzma Sharif is yeah. closing her retail shop at the end it's of crazy. September. It's just going to get wet eyes, man, crying. Your business ruined because of your bad politics. And moving it to the suburbs. Where they have the well-funded police department. Yeah, and then you're going to go there and you're going to vote. You're going to go to these communities that are typically conservative have conservative representation, conservative policies, all of the things that build a good community, all of the things that you want in your life. You move there and immediately put up a Joe Biden, Kamala Harris sign in your front yard and start supporting liberals again. I tell you, liberalism is a mental health 
crisis in America. And where they want our business, it's going to be DuPage or Will County. Hi, how are you? King is doing something similar. Will While County, Page and Will County, remember that. store in the loop for several years. She now right? needs a manufacturer for her prepackaged cookies. When I start calling co-packers, it's not in Chicago anymore. It's yeah. outside of Chicago. And Nobody wants to be Beale there. City leaders aren't concerned enough about small business safety. At a police shortage in a year. They don't care about people in Chicago. These polit these political characters that they rep in these areas in the city of Chicago in these large metros have larger aspirations. They believe that they are going to get upped. They believe that they're going to get it. They're going to get put into an administration. Uh, Beetlejuice is going to get upped by Joe Biden if she totes the party line and pushes LGBT rights. The DNC is going to pull her into a cabinet position. This is the fantasy that these liberals have. They don't care about Chicago people. They don't care about your business. They don't care about you. They only care about themselves, their wealth building, their power grabbing, and their influence. That's what they care about. Year to year rise in most crimes to that list, and they feel they have no other choice. It's happening everywhere, and that's in Chicago. my concern. So you really feel that getting out of the city retail-wise is your only option? Unless I hire a 24-7 security guard to stand in front of my door, uh, that's my only option. I bet you are anti-firearm. You want the police to be your personal protection. We don't need guns. We should ban them. Not going to take them away from the criminals, though. They're going to still do what they always do, but I don't want my neighbor to be able to defend himself because that's wrong. Black Lives Matter. Now she's running for the suburbs, and this is the story told across the country. Hyper-liberals meet their maker, and then they go running to the conservative towns in conservative counties. I took a look at the police department crime stats, and while some crimes like murder are down year to year, most crimes are up, and that includes robbery, thefts, burglary, and carjackings. And these two business owners say those numbers are especially critical when you consider the majority of small businesses are owned by women. I'm so tired of them playing the stats game when it comes to Chicago and crime. They literally get on TV and they say, oh, you know, last year we had 500 murders. The year after that, we had 495. The year after that, we had 480. Murders are down. We should all be happy, hold hands and sing and dance. Damn near 500 people were murdered violently in your city in a year's time. And you're clapping and parading because there were 20 less people that were savagely murdered in your town. And that's supposed to be a, t a positive talking point, a spin, a pivot point. Things are getting better. No, they're not. No, they are not. There are still more people dying there than there are in wars. In a U.S. city, a first-class city in America, people are being shot to death violently. And they, we aren't talking about gang on gang, criminal on criminal. We're talking about innocent victims that aren't in the game. That's why I ask you again, why do you own a small business in Chicago as a female and why and, and if you do why is that more important than your own well-being your own life let me know what you think drop those basketballs in the comments hit that like share and we'll see you on the next one later